Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top, woo, woo. 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 Had to get it with my guys, never stop, woo, woo. Mr. Going. Um, thank you. And um, I don't know. We just find a way. Um, no matter what it is, you know, we just give each other confidence to make sure we can get the job done. So um, it's nothing in particular. It's just the group of guys that we have. We all just give each, give each other confidence and move forward together. Dante, this question is for you. Uh, actually, we already know who is the three finalists of the MVP of this season. But do you think Jalen's name should be mentioned in that category? I'm sorry, I actually don't know who is the finalist. Luca, Jokic, uh, and then SJ. SJ. I mean, they're all they're all deserving players. I think you know the thing about us is we know what we have in Jalen, um, and that's all that matters. I think for us internally, um, you know, he's our leader and. Would you like to see his name in that conversation? Absolutely. But we know in our locker room that he's our MVP, and we, you know he's our leader, and we're going to ride with him. Hey, Dante, two plays, the, the three-pointer the three and then the um, offensive foul that you do, which is, can you kind of take me through those? Um, yeah, just, you know, I, I saw the help with, uh, I think it was with Neeson. I think Neeson was helping off of me. Um, Took a couple of steps back just because I'd make the closeout longer for Tyrese and, you know, just shoot it with confidence. And then the, you know, offensive foul, just trying to fight over the screen. Um, and, you know, I got hit with a hit. That's all. I mean, you had five fouls at that point. Is it like there's only 20 seconds left? Who cares? Yeah. Um, I was going to say F it, but, like, <laughs> excuse my language. But that, that's kind of, you know, my mentality is just trying to get a stop. Um, I'm going to continue to fight through ball screens, continue to fight through DHOs, um, and, you know, live you know live with the results from the physicality. Um, and, you know, they went, they challenged it, they reviewed it, and it was it was the right call. Um, so it was a good play. Yeah, like, you score four or something, but that kind of stuff, how do you guys keep pulling out these close games? Just these little things you guys do every night. Yeah, um, the little things can go a long way. So, um yeah, the 40 points are cool and all, but it's the little things that help us win games like that. And so um, I'm just happy I have the group of guys that I do. And um, I just know that we're going to fight every single day. And then that's all that I'm really thinking about. Jalen, when Tom says the game tells you what to do, what's telling you that you have to score? No one scored 40 in four games in the Jordan. What's telling you you have to do this right now? Jordan? Stop. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would say um, nothing. I'm not going thinking I need to score 40. That's not the my mindset at all. My mindset is to be aggressive, you know, to make plays for myself and for others. And so um, I gain the paint and um, see what the what's happening. And um, I mean, I have the confidence that I know I could – you know, score on the paint, um, but I know I have the confidence that my teammates are all moving and uh, get into open positions where they can be successful as well. And so um, it's just the constant communication that we have and the trust that we have with each other to to do the best we can every single time we're down the court. Coach, you've known Mark Josh for a very long time. What is it in these minutes, 47, 48, that makes you feel Um, I would say because he saves it from not practicing. <laughs> he competes. He competes during the game, and so um, he. Uh, I don't know, man. The dude's crazy. He finds a way. It's just. It's how he's wired. a little bit of like game two of the last series <laughs> um, but honestly I didn't know how much time was on the clock um, I wasn't that aware of it was only 40 seconds so um, 
I was just letting it fly, be aggressive. Jalen made you know the right play, and <clears throat> I, I I had no idea there was only forty seconds. Did you thought was good. Yeah, it felt good. Um, I, I believe every shot that I shoot is going in. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean that's you know that's my mentality, and I've had that all year, make or miss. Uh, I believe the next one's going in. Dante Tyrese, only six attempts, uh, six points. Can you talk about the team defense on that tonight? Uh, yeah, um, just being aggressive, um, you know, not letting him kind of, you know, dictate um, what we're going to do. Um, just try to, you know, make it as difficult as possible. You know, he's, you know, he's an all-star for a reason. Um, he's going to make adjustments. Um, he's, you know, scanning the defense, reading. Um, so just trying to be... Um, not let him have as much time to scan the defense and you know and survey of what he wants to do um, but like I said you can't you know you can't stop a player like him um, he's going to make adjustments going into the next game and you know we have to be ready Jalen and no script seems to be the same in any of these games in the playoffs do you guys accept any challenge any different way a game presents itself to go out there and try to win 100% um, go out there and just figure out how to win and um, learn from how we can learn from winning. Honestly, um, we can't just win and sit back and relax. We got to continue to learn to be better. Uh, we knew we could have played better tonight, and um, they had our number for most of the night. We just made a couple more plays down the stretch, and so um, we just know that we need to be better because they're going to be better. And so uh, it's it has to be our mentality going forward. Just talk about Yeah, he's he's been doing that for a long time, and so uh, TJ has that knack of you know getting under skin defensively and and offensively, just finding finding ways to make plays. You know, he's always aggressive, and not not necessarily to score, but just putting pressure on you to have to react and collapse. And so um, the things he's able to do offensively and defensively just puts them at a big advantage you know, for their team. So he's just he's a key player for them. I'm just trying to be aggressive, and um, no, no matter what the situation is, and um, if it's called, it's called. If not, then we got to continue to play. And so, this, that's really it. Jayla, what did you see from the, uh, the, the full court press that they had? Uh, yeah, they picked up full. Um, I would say they did a decent job. They created some turnovers and uh, some timely turnovers, and um, it's a. Uh, no, Rick has them prepared. You know, that's how he coaches, and he understands the game at a high level. And so um, he's going to have them ready. And then we just got, like I said, we need to be better. Even though we won, we need to be better. You know, in all seriousness, like, you, you know, Michael Jordan, Kobe, LeBron, Oscar Robertson are the only other Michael players. Jordan. Shut up, bro. <laughs> just, They're the only other players with 30 and 5 and 5 games in a row. What is your reaction to those things? Uh, very honored to be a part of that, uh, part of that group. But um, nothing right now, really. I would say it's uh, both. It developed it over your career, um, so it becomes instinctual. And so uh, it's just having the poise and the confidence to know that you're going to continue to fight and um, just try and do the right things. And so um, no matter what the situation is, you know, we know we're going into it with a clear mind. Uh, just try and play basketball the right way and do what we got to do to win games. You both played 44 minutes. How, you know, some of the best ball obviously coming at the end and clinching the wins. 44 for both of you, 48 for Josh. How have you guys maintained that level of play throughout that, and how maintainable is that throughout a long playoff? I mean, I, I think it's maintainable. Um, you know, coming in tomorrow, um, watching film, taking care of your body. Um, and being ready to go the next day. Um, you know, at this time of the year, it's it's less about <clears throat> the wear and tear of practice on your body, and more about you know preparing for the next game um, mentally, watching film, um, adjusting that way, kind of walking through plays rather than 
you know, running through stuff. Um, so, you know, the minutes aren't, you know, minutes aren't a factor uh, right now, as, you know, as long as we keep getting wins. Um, and, you know, everybody knows next game will be better. Um, whether it's, you know, guys coming off the bench, whether it's a starting unit, um, so the minutes can fluctuate throughout the game or throughout the series. Um, so, I'm, you know, I, I don't think, me, yeah, I don't think he is, I don't think we're worried about the minutes at all. Yeah, I think a lot of it is communication um, from the guys behind me. Um, when you know when they're commuting loud and often, um, then it allows me to know what you know what they're in, what they're trying to do, um, and then what I need to do. But um, first and foremost, it's the ball pressure. Um, you can't let them be comfortable because when they're comfortable, um, you know Tyrese just picks you apart. You know, you said you guys know what you have. When did you know that it was? 40, 47, 43, 41. Um, just, just be nice, bro. That's <laughs> all I have. Now, I've known, you know, he's been doing this, you know, ever since we moved in together in college. Um, honestly, he's been doing this. So it's, you know, it's the preparation mixed with the opportunity. Um, I think opportunity presents itself to him and he takes full advantage of it. Um, he studies the game. Um, he knows how teams are going to adjust, and he continues to make adjustments himself. Um, he finds different ways to be successful. Um, he's always had this. It's just now you guys are seeing it on this stage. So you're saying he's doing it because of his college right? I was one-on-one. I was busting his. <laughs> That's not true, by the way. <laughs> Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top, woo, woo. We on the top, woo, woo. We on the top, woo, woo. Had to get it with my guys, never stop, woo, woo. Mr. Go and split the pie, never stop, woo, woo. We on the top, woo, woo. We on the top, woo, woo. We on the top.